Hi everyone, welcome back to Squadron 48. Here we are with our Bristol, ready to go up for another attack. Just to let you know, yesterday on uh, the 2nd of April 1918, you can see uh, we had a relocation flight. So we've relocated back to the uh, airfield with the chateau. Um, I didn't bother bringing you that because it was just a ferrying flight and nothing happened. Uh, but here we are. Wednesday the 3rd of April 1918, we have a balloon attack at 6.59 in the morning, Luke Lawrence is leading the way, Alexander Armstrong is number 2, Benjamin Hart 3, Craig Miller 4, and we, old Flight Sergeant Taff, are going up as, uh, as well. So let's head off to the detailed mission briefing and find exactly what this balloon attack entails. Okay, here we are then. Mission briefing. April 3rd, 1918. Squadron 48. Weather reports. Cumulus clouds are beginning to darken. Visibility is good, however. Wind at ground level north-northwest 4 meters per second. Primary objective. Follow your assigned route and destroy the enemy observation balloon marked on your map. Our infantry have been taking a beating. It must be brought down. Take off 659. Good hunting. So, here we are. We're in uh, Bert Angles. Bert Angles, I love that. <laughs> it's not going to be pronounced like that, but we're going to call it Bert Angles. Uh, so Bert Angles Airfield, I'll keep saying it because it'll probably annoy the purists. Um, heading over the front lines here and uh, tangling with the balloon there and coming back. Looks a fairly simple mission. Um, let's go to the hangar. We don't need the bombs. Um, so photo reconnaissance or do you want a radio? So have, oh, that still has two bombs. There we go. Uh, add guns, yeah. Just add, just it's guns. We just want guns. That's all we need. Give us all the guns. Um, what do we have? Hang on. So is that this single Lewis? I take it that's in the rear gun, is it? For Sebastian's. There it is. Ooh. So what do you reckon? Do you reckon twin... What are these? Brownings? Or something? Oh, let's, let's switch uh, switch out for the single MG Lewis MG, just to see how that looks. It looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? Sebastian does very little anyway, so um, it shouldn't make too much of a difference. Right, let's uh, head to the... Uh, well, let's get the plane out of the hangar and head to the airfield. Okay, here we are then. Let's... Uh, Fire this baby up. We're uh, end of the row. There goes the flare. That's oh. The good news is Sebastian with the Lewis gun is facing away from us. It's like he's in a sulk. But now there we go. He can keep his eyes peeled now. I wonder if. I wonder if that any um he doesn't revolve 360 degrees. Didn't actually check that. Uh, quick flat uh, control surfaces check. Yeah, all good. Let's go. Oh, force feedback shaking the old stick. Nose coming up. Or going down, tail coming up, should I say. Whoa. Banked a little bit over. Well, she, yeah, she was pulling a little bit over to the left, but um, she's nice and true now. You okay, Sebastian? In your new seating position? It's alright, you can sit there. Reading the newspaper, doing the crosswords, reading the cartoons more likely. And uh, we're going to head off now. Yeah, so where's, where's that chateau? Yeah, it's over there. Good stuff. Well, we're up. We're going to form up and uh, head over to the front line where we're going to find this observation balloon and hopefully shoot her down, let's just cock the guns, and uh, so I'll see you in a few. Hi everyone, welcome back. We're just crossing over the front line, as you can see. No man's land beneath us. Um, beautiful coloured sky this morning, it's lovely. Uh, so we've got observation balloons dead ahead, there's two of them that I can see. Those are our targets. 
Um, so, I don't know whether or not um, we are going to try and uh, split up and go for them. But, um, yeah. Oh, they're all slowing down. Right, so we are, what are we, fifth? Yeah, we're fifth flight, so um, we're going to hang with them. Whoa, we're going to be close. Can't see anything now. I don't know why we're climbing. The balloons will be descending at a rapid old pace. Let's just get the, the, the wing down so we can block out the sun for a second so we can see what we're doing. Let's hang with the formation. Aren't they descending? Starting their attack run. We're just touching the, uh, the base of these clouds now. Where is this damn balloon? There it is. Bit of side slip to try and kill the speed as we descend quite rapidly. Otherwise we're never gonna get down. Yep, there's two of them. Right, let's bank over. Here we go, first run. Bastion's not interested. Okay, I have given the order before you ask. We're very fortunate that doesn't have any uh, anti-aircraft fire around the base of that um, balloon, but it doesn't appear to. How is this one? If not, we can try and strike this one that's uh, pretty much grounded. No, I can just see a truck. Oh, that might be anti-aircraft over there. Going in, going in fast. Aha! Welcome to the party. Guns rearmed. Good. Excellent. Right. Sebastian woke up. Two balloons down. Fortunately, no real anti aircraft fire around there, so they must have been literally just hoisted up there this morning, and they haven't actually had a chance to kind of defend them with any uh, meaningful. anti-aircraft fire at the moment. Right, uh, I'm just trying to find the squadron. They are... somewheres away. Uh... Hi guys, we've got an aircraft above us. Ah, that looks German. That looks like an albatross. Oh, hang on, it's two aircraft above us. What's that? I 
what that is. Oh, aircraft in front as well. This could get tasty. Okay, there's the formation and there's that fighter. Fortunately, he's gone after the uh, the four of them rather than us, who was slightly adrift, which is fine. Hopefully, the uh, the rest of the boys can keep him occupied while we uh, get over there and try and join in the uh, the fun. Flying right into the sun. It's going to be a challenge. There he is. Here he comes. Here he comes, Sebastian. Get ready. You on him? Sebastian, you should have been already warmed up. Get him, Sebastian. Get the gun over there. Okay, he doesn't like his uh, his gun because it doesn't go 360 like he could uh, whack me on the back of the head with the last one. The crystals everywhere. Tasty. The watch out for the other aircraft. Oh, hello. Oh, we've been joined by some other aircraft. Oh right, as if the skies wasn't crowded enough. Bloody hell, I can't see it. With Sebastian standing up, I can't see bloody anything behind me. God, aircraft everywhere, this is going to end in disaster. Alright, I'm on him. No one else bug in. Oh, there goes his wings. Well done, everyone. Decisive show. Right, woo, bit of drama over. Who are we, who are they? Hang on, let's not do that. That makes me feel slightly nauseous. Let's try and uh, get level, then have a look. So there are the Bristols, and they are the Bristols. Who are the other guys then? There's definitely some other aircraft here. But they look like... Well, they look, obviously they're British. They look like sort of Camels or something like that. Slightly smaller than the Bristols they were. Right, anyway, we're back with formation. Uh, I think we're just going to form up now and start heading home. Enough excitement for one day. Hey everyone, welcome back. We are over home base, as you can see. We're going to, I know we're fifth in line, but we're going to drop down as well. Uh, we'll um, side slip in. Obviously, I'm not going to land straight like this, going far too fast. Quick look at where the um, which airfield you want to land on. There we go, right. And uh, we'll come and have a look at the chateau and then we'll uh, make our approach. 
and buzz the chateau. Okay, the uh, looking at windsock, we need to land over the uh, the town basically. Oops. Nice. Try not to hit the church or the uh, other aircraft coming in low. Got a gust of wind then and went up. Oh, that's a bit of a heavy one. Let's get in. Yeah, it's a bit of a plop that one, but um, ah, oh, we're down safely. No damage to the aircraft. Right, let's go and um, give our debriefing. Taxi back to the hangar and. Uh, Go and have a sherry. I'll see you in a few. Okay, here we are. V for victory. Primary objective completed. Mission time, 39 minutes and 6 seconds. TAF. Bristol. F2B. F111. Or FIIA. Uh, landed. One aircraft kill, one one balloon kill. Didn't Sebastian shoot down it? Oh, the second one. Apparently we don't get credit for that, Sebastian does. Oh. I thought we were a team. Clearly not. Uh, the other guys are still airborne at the time of me uh, ending the mission and they didn't contribute too much to it. Great. Okay, into the daily reports. Let's just have a quick look. Just confirmation of what we already knew. We shot down burnt... Uh, Schroeder in his uh, Albatross. Uh, what Yast is he from? He's from uh, Yasta 10. Lovely. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, quick look into the squadron room, see where that leads us. Still, of course, top of the pops. Nine aircraft kills now, four balloon kills, 23 vehicle kills, or ground targets. Are they vehicles? Vehicles. Um, no ships, no facilities. 10, uh, 16 sorties sent out on, 16 completed sorties to uh, report. Score of 30, uh, 10 hours, 29 minutes and 59 seconds of flight experience. We're uh, clearly leading the way here. Uh, in number 48 squadrons achievements for careers of all players, we're up to 45th in the, uh, in the standings. There we are. Looking good. Looking good. Yes, I think we were below Joey last time, weren't we? So, well, uh, we've popped up quite a bit, which is nice to see. Um, we've got quite a way to go, if I'm honest, uh, to catch Richard Watson at the top of the, uh, top of the pops. But um, we'll see what we can do. We have one Bristol, which needs uh, a day's repair, and the 17 fully fit, ready-to-go aircraft, which is always good. Into the personal room. There's our little profile. There is our summary to date of what we have done. Global statistics, we are 9,072nd. Um, wowzer. Wowzer. 6,991 aircraft. Oof. That's some going. That's some going. And there's our, oh, our beautiful Victoria Cross. Um... Yeah, good stuff. Right, we'll leave it there then. Um, next up, let's have a look at the missions to come. There's a ground attack, which we are not going to be part of, so we'll we'll see how that goes on. Uh, but there is an offensive patrol planned later this today at uh, 5.15. And potentially, we are not going up in there either, no. Okay, how did those boys... Oh, Craig Miller got injured. Not sure if that was uh, due to crashing. Um, but he seems to be okay. Quick look at the offensive patrol. How did those boys get on? And they completed that uh, with no apparent injuries, which is always good. So that is Wednesday, the 3rd of April, uh, 1918, completed. Join us next week when we'll find out where we're going and what we're doing. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a little bit more action. You know, balloons and the odd aircraft is fine, but we'd like a mass dogfight. We haven't had a big dogfight for a long time. 
Uh, and that's with multiple enemies rather than multiple friendlies getting in the way. Uh, so we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this. If you do, hit that thumbs up. And I will see you next time in more Rise of Flight.